Hello and welcome to this video that covers the unboxing and installation overview of the Tygo Energy Intelligence Battery. The Tygo battery is a crucial component of Tygo's residential energy storage solution. Check out the links in the video description to learn more. Let's get started. Several boxes are included with delivery. One large box will contain the 110 pound battery cabinet. Three smaller boxes will contain one battery module each box weighing 66 pounds. There will always be three battery modules per cabinet, so verify this box count before proceeding with the installation. Starting with the battery cabinet box, remove the bag containing the quick start guide, terminating plugs, and mounting hardware. Place the battery cabinet on a foundation for a ground mounted application. The battery cabinet should not be further than seven feet away from the Tygo inverter. The battery may be wall mounted using the appropriate hardware and verified by an engineer. Contact the Tygo customer success team if you have any questions about mounting. As with all Tygo EI equipment, keep the battery cabinet out of direct sunlight, rain, and snow. This ensures reliable system operation for many years to come. Open the battery cabinet by removing the six screws on the side of the cover, three on each side. Go ahead. Firmly grab the green kick plate and pull towards you to gain access to the latching hasps. Reach underneath to unlatch the two hasps. Lift the cabinet cover, but do not remove it from the vicinity of the battery cabinet. You must first unscrew the equipment ground wire and then gently but firmly pull the little connector toward the left side of the cover. Carefully cut the communication and power cables that are zip tied to the top of the upper and lower enclosure. Notice the cables are labeled. These labels correspond to the battery module terminals they connect to. In the lower cabinet, you will notice a loose red wire in the zip tied bundle. This jumper wire is labeled lower inner battery link out and lower outer battery link in. Unpack the battery modules and lift them out of the box using the built in handles on top of the modules. Position them in front of the battery cabinet with the positive and negative terminals on the right. Note the RJ45 terminals labeled link out, link in, and PCS. The terminal labels will be upside down for installation. Install one battery module in the upper enclosure. This is designated battery module number one. Secure with the two sliding latches. Only one battery may be installed in this upper enclosure since the battery management system electronics are behind the back wall. Installing the battery cables is easy. Match the cable label to the battery terminal label and plug in until you hear a click. Begin with the communication cables and then the power cables. It may be easier to snap the power cables onto the battery module posts by pressing the small button on the side of the plastic connector. It is very important that the terminating plug is installed into the link in terminal on battery number one. Repeat this process for the remaining battery modules in the lower enclosure. Notice the wiring labels differentiate the battery modules as inner and outer. The inner battery is the battery module against the back wall of the cabinet. It may be easier to connect the inner battery cables before sliding the battery against the back wall. Connect the internal wiring to the appropriate battery module terminals, paying close attention to the inner and outer labels. Locate the communication cable that is labeled on each end. Connect this cable to the appropriate battery modules in the lower enclosure. Once all battery connections are complete, secure the modules using the two sliding latches. Now that the internal connections are complete, we can connect the battery to the Tygo inverter. Begin by opening the left side wiring box. Only two connections are used during this part of the installation. The power output terminals and the communication cable both go to the Tygo inverter. Both of these connections are installer prepared. Use a number 6 wire for the positive and negative conductors that connect the battery to the Tygo inverter. The communication cable can be CAT5 or CAT6 and must be configured as a straight-through cable. The Tygo residential solution supports a 1, 2, or 4 battery cabinet configuration for almost 40 kilowatt hours of capacity. Three cabinets are not supported. If installing two batteries, always connect them in parallel 
each going to its own terminal inside the Tygo inverter. This connection saves on installation time since you will not need to wire any battery into connection communication terminals. This parallel connection also ensures the maximum available continuous output and surge power for the system. A four battery application is configured as two strings of two cabinets, similar to how PV module strings are connected to the inverter. Each pair of cabinets are connected together in series and will connect in a single battery power terminal inside the inverter. For power and communication installation, refer to this line diagram in the battery quick start guide. The left side of the battery cabinet also contains the power switch and dark start button. The red power switch is the primary method for turning the cabinet on or off. The dark start button is located behind this protective cover. It should only be used in extreme conditions, such as if the grid power is out and the system has shut down. Let's look at a scenario where this could happen. The system will protect against the deep discharge by first entering standby mode once the battery state of charge reaches 10%. In this mode, the system is awake but not producing power. It has stopped discharging the batteries to try and protect itself against the deep discharge, which could permanently damage the battery modules. If this occurs during a grid outage, there will be no power in the home. Once the state of charge reaches 7%, the system will go into sleep mode. It will automatically shut down, and all front panel LEDs will go dark. A dark start must be performed to bring the system out of this state. However, this should only be performed when there is sufficient sunlight to start charging the batteries. All loads in the home should be turned off to facilitate battery charging. If a generator is installed in the system, then this deep discharge is very unlikely. Lastly, let's look at the other side of the battery cabinet. The right side wiring area contains a breaker for output power terminals, which connects two batteries in series for a four battery configuration. There is also a communication terminal labeled CAN. For all battery configurations, the terminating plug must be installed in this terminal on the last battery of each string. Otherwise, the system will exhibit abnormal behavior. And that's it for this video. Please check out the unboxing and overview videos for the Tygo inverter and automatic transfer switch found in the video description. If you have any questions, please contact the Tygo customer success team. Thank you for watching.